folks out there told me they wanted to see me throw a fly a little more, so. Well, Blair, as we work up the shoreline, there's a creek that comes out in the back, and it kind of wraps around into this little corner, little pocket, and the fish like to just come out of that creek and just post up right there, wait for bait to come around that edge, and, and they should be there. Well, hopefully they'll be waiting for this little fly here. There's one in this pocket right here. Make a cast right there about 11 o'clock. He'll jump on it. A little closer. Try again. It's facing right. We oh, got one. A oh, bigger one. Oh. Drop it right there. Good. He's faced to the right. Like a little bit right. Pick it up. Try again. Good. Hold right there. OK, a little bit left. See him? He's going to the left a little bit. Go left a little bit. See him? No, I don't. Right there, left, left. See, left about five feet. See him? His back. No, no, that's too far. Go back where you were. Good. Oh, strip, strip, strip. I, I can't see him. Little strips, little strips. Strip. Yeah, you can't see, see it because of the mud. Oh, that looks good. Go ahead, strip, strip. Wait. 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 Go ahead, strip, 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 strip. Drop it on his head. He's trying to eat it. He's looking. Wait, here he comes. He just moved to the right. He stopped. Good, good, good. Strip, 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 Still trying to eat it. Because he, there he got, got, oh, no! He spit it instantly, dude. All right, all right. He's still spinning around looking for the fly. He's he's hot. I'm going to back off a little bit. He's right there. Launch him. There, I got now, him. now we got him. Big stuff. Got him. Big buddy. Nice. Nice, Blair. Good fish. Nice fish. That'd be my biggest snook on a fly. Beautiful fish. He ate nice. that thing three times. That was right next to the boat. I hope y'all saw that. That was pretty killer. Keep the tension on him. Keep the tension on him. Come on, come on. He's got a big buddy over there, too. Does he? Yeah, maybe you'll get a pair of them. Keep stripping, keep stripping. He's coming at the boat. Change the angles on him. Right under. Come on, baby. That's a nice snug. Nice snug. That's a beautiful fish. Nice. Nice. Nice job, I couldn't Blair. see where that fly was. Was it on the top of his lip? Yeah, it's cornered. I got the net there. We want to make sure I'll well, land him right here. I'll help there. you out. I'm coming down. Coming on down? Yeah, I'm coming down. I'm going to try to put him on the, on the left side of the boat. Wherever you want. I'm, I'm here for you. Oh, oh, the, Don't step uh, on the line. You're feral, on the fly line. The ferrule separated. Uh-oh. That's all right. You want to get that net and net him? Oh, I didn't get it. Because that might de-hook him right there. Pull that tip of the rod up. They're coming back. Pull right. Yeah. <laughs> what mayhem. Put that net together. I don't want to lose the tip of my fly rod. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. Woo! Look at the fly rod separated halfway through the fight. <laughs> Sometimes it happens with a multi-piece rod. But I'll tell you what, that's worth it, baby! Now that is a way to catch a snook on a fly rod, baby. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. What a beautiful fish. And we're only in like four four and a half, five inches of mud. That's why we're able to pull through here with this boat. Um, this, this Phantom's got a real flat bottom on it, so it gets real, real shallow, but gets you in back with these. Awesome, awesome fish. Whew. Brother, that was awesome. Y'all wanna come down here and do some snooking in the Everglades on the fly rod? Captain Kevin Mihailov. I tell you what, you're gonna have a ball you do spin, plug, fly. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Y'all can come down here and catch a lot. I mean, it, uh, 
I, I, I can't say anymore. It's just some awesome fishing down here. And the best times, you know, starting to fall after the first cold front comes through. And then up until it really starts heating up and the bugs get really, really bad down here, then you just gotta buy a lot of insect repellent. But uh, it is one awesome place. Dude, I thank you very much. Welcome don't, back anytime. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. We'll see you next week.